the man himself, CEO and chairman of Harry Rosen, Larry Rosen, joining us on the BT Couch. And got to say congratulations. Great history for a Thank Canadian you. company. Great to be here. <laughs> reaching 60 years. Tell us about the idea of where the company started and how it became so big. Well, it, it's it's actually amazes even me. I mean, uh, that was two years before I was born. That my father, a 24-year-old young Turk, and my uncle Lou, his younger brother, they started this little wee shop on Parliament Street in Toronto, which is called Cabbage Town. Real out of the way place. And like great entrepreneurs, they will the business into existence through learning about customers, incredible customer service, bringing new ideas to uh, the city of Toronto. And they developed quite a little following, which obviously has expanded to a, a national uh, institution these days. And uh, it's, just, it's just a great story of entrepreneurial will, Canadian entrepreneurial will, that I'm very proud of. You know, fashion is so personal, it's, uh, it's diverse, and the great thing about Harry Rosen is, you know, the company speaks to generations. For the course of business, one, getting to the top is tricky, but staying there is another. What is the best lesson in business you have learned to, to keep the company where it's at? You know, it's, you, you have to have a, a, a combination of people that are veterans, that have been with you a long time, really understand understand your business and you got to integrate new young thinkers into that and we've been we've been very successful at doing that and also you have to think in terms of um, new generations and what interests them I have three sons 27 25 and 23 and a big part of our thinking is to make sure that our store is relevant to them just as it's relevant to old guys like me, I mean, baby boomers. I mean, the baby boomers we know, but making sure that we have cool new fashion and that our store is set up in a way that appeals to all these generations. That's what's really uh, led us to become successful and the kind of longevity we have. And you keep up, uh, you know, with the Jones. I mean, the, the trends change. Uh, Harry Magazine is a great reflection. I mean, you, you're, you're bringing ambassadors that show the, the, the different looks. How has fashion truly evolved here in Canada to get to the point we're at now? Well, you know, it's men today, like, when I joined uh, Harry Rosen 29 years ago full-time, uh, men were very predictable. They had their business wardrobe, they had their jeans and sweatshirts for the weekend. Today's man is much more eclectic. He understands the different types of wardrobes that he needs from business, business casual, dressy casual to weekend. And they think a lot more about it, particularly this younger generation. They're very savvy. And, uh, you know, we just really work hard to try to educate them and try to deal with their needs. And the younger generation, myself included, we like the colored pants too. We like you're, the colored uh, pants, Larry. You're definitely part of the younger generation. <laughs> We'd have to classify you there. You know, uh, if we look forward to fall 2014, Mike Peters always comes on the show. You're here today to kind of preview some of the big items to include for the wardrobe. Uh, we've got some of the photos for examples. What are you seeing? And let's start with the sport coat. Listen, um, sport jackets are just such an evolving and interesting thing. There's a lot of heritage fabrics. We've gone back to a lot of English influenced heritage fabrics like herringbones and district checks. But you know, at the end of the day, uh, a sport jacket's a topper, and it just, for business casual and dressy casual, to me it's the quintessential piece, and uh, men are really starting to understand that, and we're just doing very, we're being very successful with it, and that whole dressy casual is the the real emphasis this fall. And uh, two other examples, guys in the uh, control room, let's just roll through these, the, the pant and the boots, what's the okay. must-have pant? Well, this pant, I mean, again, with that dressy casual theme, this is a five-pocket gray flannel. So taking a jean style of pant, but putting it in a dress pant fabric. Very cool new innovation, sort of again, for those business casual ideas at work, wearing a jean style pant with a great sport jacket, it's a cool look. All right, and the boots? We have the boots real quick. Let's take a look at these. What's your favorite boot for the season? Uh, well, uh, I'm going to get one of these. I like the lace-up boots. I think it's just it's just great for fall and winter as the weather gets cool. It just has a certain 60s reminiscence, as you say, you know? All kinds of options. HarryRosen.com is the website, and, of course, the Harry Magazine for all the latest trends. Congrats again. 60 Thanks, years. Man. Thanks great. a lot.